Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamu alaikum. I hope you all are fine and staying safe and happy at your homes. I am your GK teacher, Ms. Farheen, and I welcome you all to your GK class. My dear students, as you know that we are on unit number 12 of your GK2 books. And you know that the name of our unit is the Natural Environment and Resources. And today is its third lesson. So, my dear students, uh, let's recap what we did in lesson number two. So, you have to answer a few questions so that I'll know that you remember everything that we done uh, we have done in the previous lesson. So, my dear students, tell me what is a natural resource? A natural resource kya hota hai? Yes, very good. The naturally occurring things which are in abundance and meet up the requirements of human beings or fulfill their needs is called a natural resource like water, sun energy, land, air, these all are natural resources. Next tell me name some natural resources I already tell you. So it's easy for you sun, water, air, land, these are all natural resources. Now why is the sun important? Sun kyu zaruri hai? Because it, it gives us heat and light. Very good. What do we get from the sun? Very easy. We get light, heat and energy from the sun. So my dear students, you know that as a natural resource, we studied about the sun in the previous lesson. We studied that sun gives us light. Deta hai. It is the ultimate source or you can see the uh, most powerful source of heat and light on earth. Okay, so we have light and heat from the sun. We have learned this. We have learned plants to grow, karne mein, food prepare, karne mein, help karta hai. So that means these plants and animals are very important for their survival. Ke liye important hai. Aaj hum, we will discuss about some other resources. Land resource and water resource. Aaj hum in two resources ke baare mein padhenge. So, my dear students, today's student learning outcomes are given on page number 85. So, let's quickly have a look. Recognize that natural resources are essential for the survival of human beings. So, in specific, we will discuss about land and water. And recognize the importance of natural resources. When we will land and water, we will highlight the importance of highlight karenge. So, let's move forward towards the Islamic perspective of uh, this student, uh, this SLO, it is God who made the earth for you to settle and the heaven as a canopy. He designed you and perfected you, your design and provided you with wholesome things such as God, your Lord. So blessed be God, Lord of the world. So, all the tarifs are Allah Taala for us because Allah Taala has made us for living. We have made the heavens for us. Then we have made the promise of the promise of Jannah. And all the names you have provided, which you are using on a daily basis, all of them have been given to us. So, we have to give Allah Taala thanks for that. And we have to give Allah Taala thanks for that. And we have to give Allah Taala thanks for that. And we have to give Allah Taala thanks for that. And we have to give Allah Taala thanks for that. So, my dear students, with this good thing, let's move forward towards the pre-reading question. Chale, ab zara si kuch sochne ki baat hai. Zara damaag pe sab ne zor dalna hai. So, quickly tell me what if we put water in a bottle or water tank, will it become a resource? Agar aap ek badi si paani ki bottle mein paani dal le, ya aapke joh ghar ke upar paani ka tank hai, jahaan se aapke poore ghar ko water supply hoti hai, क्या ये एक रिसोर्स है? Yes, it is a resource. Why? क्योंकि हम इससे we are fulfilling our needs with it. ठीक है? और एक जगह पे बहुत सारी चीज अकट्टी हो जाती है, तो वो रिसोर्स बन जाती है. But it is a man-made resource. जब आप उसको पानी को वाटर टैंक में शिफ्ट कर देते हैं, तो आपने उसको नैचुरल रिसोर्स से मैन-मेड रिसोर्स में शिफ्ट कर दिया. Water is a natural resource, लेकिन जब वो कैसे natural होता है, let's have a look, यहाँ पे जरा आप देखिएगा pictures, जब ये water dispenser में है, तो it is a man-made resource, it is inside a water tank, it is a man-made resource, and from then it comes to your taps, and you drink it, 
so you are using it so these two are resources but they are man made and where are they getting the water from from these this natural resource streams lakes and rivers these all are natural resources thode se natural resources dekhe like a river then lakes streams these all are natural resources these are god made lekin inse hum kya karte hain pani ko lekar jate hain aur fir unko hum store kar lete hain then it becomes man made okay so this is the difference between um uh, natural and man made resource so today we will discuss all about natural water resources and again we will discuss about land resources ye thode se aapko uh, water resources ke hame fayde kya hote hain isse power generate ki jati hai drinking aur washing ke liye use kiya jata hai इसके साथ ट्रांसपोर्टेशन होती है वाटर के ऊपर एक कंट्री से दूसरे कंट्री में शिप्स चलते हैं और जो है वो बहुत ज्यादा फायदा होता है इस वजह से आप ट्रेड कर सकते हैं देन वी गेट सी फूड फ्रॉम द वाटर आप श्रिम्स लेते हैं प्रॉन्स मिलते हैं फिशेस मिलती हैं उनको हम खाते हैं सो वॉटर इज ऑल्सो अ सोर्स ऑफ फूड here we will move forward towards an other resource which is land resource land resource se hame crops milti hain salt mines hoti hain iske andar forests hote hain aur coal mines hoti hain koyle ki kaane hoti hain ye sab cheeze jo hain hame land se mil rahi hain to land ke andar bahut sare resources hain so we will also discuss about land resource and now quickly pause the video and open page number 88 in your books i hope everybody has open page number 88 in their books ab hum jo hai reading karenge kyunki aapko maine thoda sa introduction diya hai water resource ke bare mein land resource ke bare mein now let's quickly read about the land resource and water resource one by one and we will also discuss about its importance now quickly put your fingers where i will read so land the land is a resource where all the living world exists it is important in many ways so my dear students जमीन एक ऐसी जगह है लैंड इज अ प्लेस वेयर एवरीबडी इज लिविंग ठीक है एनिमल्स प्लांट्स ह्यूमन बींग्स एवरीबडी इज लिविंग इवन आपका जो पानी है वो भी लैंड के ऊपर ही होता है ना सो ऑल द लिविंग थिंग्स आर लिविंग ऑन लैंड सो लैंड इज एक्सट्रीमली इंपॉर्टेंट नाउ लेट्स क्विकली हैव अ लुक एट एट इट्स इंपॉर्टेंस इंपॉर्टेंस द लैंड इज अ सोर्स of many other resources such as forests coal natural gas etc all these resources fulfill our energy requirements the land is used for farming growing plants and construction activities सो माई डियर स्टूडेंट्स अब देखें हमें जमीन में से फ्रॉम लैंड वी आर गेटिंग अ लॉट ऑफ थिंग्स आपको कोल मिल रहा है फॉर एनर्जी आपको गैस मिल रही है फॉर एनर्जी जो कि आप जलाते हैं अपने घरों में भी जलाते हैं देन वी आर गेटिंग फूड फॉर एनर्जी जो हम खाना खाते हैं फॉर एनर्जी फॉर वर्किंग और वो हमें कहाँ से मिल रहा है दैट इज ऑल्सो कमिंग फ्रॉम द लैंड क्रॉप वेजिटेबल्स फ्रूट्स एवरी थिंग इज कमिंग फ्रॉम द लैंड एंड आप बहुत सारी चीजें जो है वो लैंड के ऊपर कंस्ट्रक्ट करते हैं सो दैट मीन्स वी आर गेटिंग अ लॉट ऑफ रिसोर्स फ्रॉम द लैंड नाउ वी विल मूव फॉरवर्ड टूवर्ड्स द वॉटर रिसोर्स लेट मी इरेज इट ओके नाउ अगेन पुट योर फिंगर्स वेर आई विल रीड वॉटर हाउ डू यू फील वेन यू ड्रिंक वॉटर after physical work water keeps us alive animals and plants are alive because of water so my dear students water is extremely important for our body otherwise we will get dehydrated 
plants and animals and human beings everyone needs water without water we cannot stay alive hum zinda nahi reh payenge so water sabse pehle drinking ke liye bahut important hai plants ke liye water bahut important hai because they make their food with the help of water एनिमल्स के लिए ड्रिंकिंग के लिए बहुत इंपॉर्टेंट है एंड देर आर सम अदर इंपॉर्टेंस ऑफ वॉटर लेट्स क्विकली हैव लुक पुट योर फिंगर्स वेर आई विल रीड वॉटर इज वन ऑफ द मोस्ट इंपॉर्टेंट नेचुरल रिसोर्स बिकॉज इट इज यूज टू जनरेट इलेक्ट्रिसिटी लार्ज वॉटर बॉडीज प्रोवाइड अ ट्रेड रूट by linking far off countries lakes springs rivers and oceans give us food such as fish prawns etc so my dear students here we have read about few importance of uh, water unme se sabse pehle kya hai it is used for drinking washing bathing that is water hum most of all daily basis pe hum water ko isliye use karte hain and the next thing is it is used to generate electricity kaise water se electric electricity generate hoti hai main aapko bhi pictures bhi dikhaungi uski water ko jo hai badi badi turbines ke upar dala jata hai aur uske baad jo aapko electricity apne ghar mein nazar aa rahi hai ye electricity wahi se generate hoti hai from the dams again it is used um for trade route जो बहुत बड़ी बड़ी वाटर बॉडीज हैं लाइक ओशन एंड सीज वहां पे एक जगह से दूसरी जगह जो है जैसे आप रोड को यूज करते हैं इसी तरह शिप्स जो हैं वो एक कंट्री से दूसरे कंट्री जो हैं वो वाया ओशन एंड सीज जाती हैं और एक जगह से दूसरी जगह चीजें जो हैं वो जा सकती हैं एंड वॉटर इज अ ग्रेट सोर्स ऑफ फूड फॉर आस हमें खाना मिलता है लाइक फिश प्रॉन्स एंड अदर एडेबल्स वी गेट फ्रॉम द सी एंड वॉटर नाउ देर इज एन एक्टिविटी गिवेन ऑन द सेम पेज विच विल बी गिवेन टू यू फॉर योर होमवर्क बट लेट लेट एस डिस्कस इट हेयर इंडिपेंडेंट एक्टिविटी नंबर टू आपको एवरी डे आइटम जो है वो कोई एक जो है वो चूज करना है आप कुछ के नाम लिखते हैं फॉर एग्जाम्पल सॉल्ट आप खाने में नमक इस्तेमाल करते हैं वेर डज इट कम फ्रॉम इट कम्स फ्रॉम लैंड okay so what is its natural resource land number 2 you use tables wood wooden table so where what is its natural resource wood or you can also write trees okay so this is how you will write uh, the names of some items which you use daily aur phir aapne batana hai ki what is its natural resource wo kahan se aata hai you can also write the names of crops vegetables you eat the food that you eat aur uske baad aap uska natural resource likhe theek hai for example if i'll say biryani to what is the source of biryani chicken and rice and where is it coming from rice is coming from pl uh, plants and the chicken is coming from the animals so both are resources and natural resources so this will be done in the homework and you will do it in your notebook from here we will move forward towards your practice so open page number 95 in your books very good and you can see a uh, reading practice number c identify the natural resources mention any two uses of each resource so the first one is water and what is its use quickly tell it is used for washing cleaning bathing generates electricity gives us seafood so these are some uses of uh, water you only have to discuss it there's no need to write just write water on the top of it the next one is land quickly tell me the few uses of land we are getting crops from it we are getting coal from it energy from it salt from it so these are the uses of uh, or the importance of land from here we will move forward towards your next practice which is a worksheet worksheet number 4 it will be provided to you by your teacher you have to write down your name and your class on the top of it and 
then you can see the first part write three uses of water resource and three uses of land resource so first of all you have to write down the three uses of water resource we have just discussed generates electricity okay and uh, another use I will tell you you have to write it yourself gives us seafood we use it for bathing and drinking that is three uses of water next is three uses of land so I will write one for you you will do rest by yourself gives coal and natural gas You will write rest by yourself, gives us fruits and vegetables, gives us um, uh, salt from the salt mines. So, you can write a lot of things um, about the uses of land. Okay, you will finish it yourself. Next is your evaluation given on page number 94. Some listening and speaking questions, quickly answer them. Question number 9 on your screen. What are the benefits of land? Very good. We have just discussed. Number one. Yes. Gives us energy like coal and natural gas. And gives us food. Very good. Number ten. What types of crops are grown on land? Yes. Wheat, rice and maize. These are the names of some crops which are grown on land. What is water used for? It is used for drinking, cleaning, washing, electricity generation. Very nice. Question number 12. Why do living things need water? Living things need water to stay alive. Very good. From here we will move forward towards your homework. So it is given on page number 88. Home activity number two is your first homework. Search some natural resources other than given in the book. Paste their pictures in your scrapbook and label them. Acha, aapki book mein sun, water, air, land discuss hua wa hai. You have to write some other resources, okay? And you have to collect their pictures and paste them in your scrapbook or your notebook. Also write their names, okay? Very easy. Okay, independent activity number two, I have already explained kar chuki hoon. You have to write down the daily items you use and their natural resource. Okay, this is so easy. You can do it in your notebook. So, let's wrap up the lesson. We have done with lesson number three. So, today we have discussed any natural thing present in abundance and meeting up people's need is called a natural resource. Resources which are not made by man are natural resources, okay? And we have discussed about water and land. So, water bodies are a source of food and trade. The land is a source of many other resources such as forest, coal, natural gas, etc. So, I hope you have learned a lot of things from this lesson and you have uh, understood about water and land as a natural resource. Keep everybody around you safe. Have a good day and Allah Hafiz.